Hey everybody, uh, I didn't have time to make more than one take uh, yesterday when I did my lecture and I noticed that um, I might have been a little bit uh, indirect or confusing when I was explaining friendship and patronage and also uh, what frank speech is. Um, these concepts are, are tightly wound together because friendship is a social relationship between equals and patronage is an economic relationship between a uh, higher up and somebody that's lower in the social strata. So uh, it's, it's a pretty big difference, but patrons wanted to express themselves uh, using traditional friendship language and family language when they were talking about people that were beneath them. You know, it, it was, even though it was very important for Romans to be um, aware of their rank, you know, it, rank was just a, a very important part of the lives. Um, even though uh, that's true, they didn't want, it, it was considered uh, impolite to express that dominance um, in rough language. And so that's at least the ideal, you know. What would happen is every morning, you know, this is a wealthy person's house, a, a diagram, and here's the street right here in the door. And every morning, his clients would, would show up uh, pretty early in the morning. They would line up around the outside of the house here on the street. And the patron or patroness would be waiting about right here, sitting on a chair. And the um, clients would come in one at a time and praise the patron or give the patron some goods or... Um, you know, do whatever the patron wanted them to do, and the patron would give them money or legal protection or, um, you know, any any number of things. Even it could even be as large as a house, or um, it, and it also goes all the way up. Like the the Caesar was a patron to the entire Roman Empire, but his clients were just the wealthiest people in Rome, uh, in the empire, and he would do favors for them, and they would do favors for him. It's kind of like the godfather. But they're, but even though they might call each other friends, um, they're really not, because they're not equals, which was the definition of friendship. So, in ancient times, we there is an idea of friendship. It goes back to Aristotle, that friends are equals, and friends share everything with each other, and they love each other. Um, they're there for each other uh, through thick and thin. And a fair weather friend or a parasite is somebody that uh, is your friend only to get something. Um, see, a lot of that stuff sounds familiar to you, but that's how the patrons, even though they were higher, talked about their underlings. So. How is that relevant to Paul? Well, for one thing, fr in friendship, that was the only context where corrective language was accepted because the, you know that your friend wants the best for you, so even though it may feel like an insult or hurt your feelings whenever they try to correct you, uh, it's done in, you know that it's done in goodwill. But Paul, on the other hand, used frank speech, which is the corrective speech. He used it outside of the context of friendship within Thessalonica. And, and the primary offense was he came on far too strong uh, regarding worshiping idols. You know, he, he marched into Thessalonica and preached a message that was very uh, caustic and rough and corrective while he did not make friends with the powers that be. So the only converts that Paul got were either poor or they were kicked out of their families. If they were a member of a household like this, they could get uh, thrown out because they follow a religion that is new and foreign and offensive. You know, if Paul is... Paul is a 
really coming down on idol worship, his followers probably are too, and that's going to irritate the uh, head of the household and the harmony of the household. So his frank speech, it's uh, parisia, uh, it's actually a technical term, you know, frank speech, and he uses it, he uses that term in uh, First, Thessalon First Thessalonians. So friendship is a relationship between equals, and patronage is a relationship between uh, someone of a higher status and someone of a lower status. And the theory is, whenever the lower status person provides a good or a service that is superior to the patron, their, their social rank evens out. It evens out so they can practice friendship together. So, and on the other hand, whenever the patron um, produces generosity and love toward the uh, toward the client, he's gr the patient. The patron um, graciously comes down from the status in, in theory, and they're able to address each other as equals and friends. And this relationship is very tenuous because the patron could call it off at any time and um, leave the client um, out, you know, high and dry. And there were laws that governed uh, relationships between patrons and clients. But I'm not going to get into that because the Roman law didn't matter that much. Uh, when it comes down to regular practice, you know, what are you going to do if you're a client and, you know, your patron decides that he's going to rip you off and uh, you can't, you don't have the money to go get a lawyer and prosecute him in court. And if you tried, uh, the patron has the resources to kill you. So it's a, uh, it's a very brutal and, uh, merciless uh, setup that is coded with uh, friendship language. And Paul navigates through that system and uses it to his advantage in Corinth and Galatia and Rome, but uh, it blew up in his face in Thessalonica. Hope that's clear. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.